Well, I hadn't planned on doing a video today. It was raining, blowing all morning long. Beaver went to the land of Nada, found some foreign coins. He didn't hunt this weekend. He was honey doing, I think he said. Open up here, you turkey. But anyway, I'm going to do a video, and I'll tell you why. I got a call from a lady yesterday saying that she had some a lawnmower blade she wanted me to sharpen. I said, okay. And she lived near Home Depot. Well, I had to go to Home Depot today to pick up something for my uh, sharpening table. Stand by a minute. Stand by and picked it up. So a 19-inch for uh, electric lawnmower. I said, well, while I'm out, I'll go to the lottery store and buy me that ticket number right there, 508. When I was in the Army, I was in the 82nd Airborne, and I was in the B Company with the first 508. And I play 508 on occasion. But I haven't played it in at least a year. Well, it's come out three times this week. I said, damn, I ought to be playing that number. Hadn't come out exact, come out 805, 8, something. Some combination of 508. Well, don't you know it came in today? I played it 50-50. And it came in 805. So I won 40 smackers. I said, damn, that ain't bad. So I get home. So I leave this in my truck right there. I get the knives out. Well, anyway, when I picked up the lawnmower blade, the lady had uh, four knives. She said, would you please sharpen these for me too? I said, okay. Well, like I said, I wasn't planning on doing a video. Well, I sharpened the lawnmower. I pre-sharpened the lawnmower blade right here. Then I cleaned the lawnmower blade up right here. And then I sharpened them. And while I was sharpening them, the mailman came. And it gets better now. I mean, it gets really good. I like it. Carnivores. They want a snack. We got them two poop. Here's the lawnmower blade, all cleaned up and sharpened. I sharpen lawnmower blades sharp like I do a knife to cut the grass easier. And here are all the four knives. They're made in Japan. Butcher shop knives, stainless steel, Japan. I've never seen any before, but you know, there's a fillet knife, a slicer. A chef's knife and some sort of serrated knife. But I already got them sharpened. I'm just waiting for them to dry it off and I'm going to take them back to her along with the lawnmower blade. So then I come over to the mailman. I mean the mail that came in. Well, let me get ahead of myself first. I bought uh, some new shropping compound. I always buy one of these every season before the season gets started. It's a leather strop made by DLT. Well, this is the wrong one. I must have ordered it by mistake. I mean, it's, a, it's the same one I've been using for, oh, I don't know how long, 15 or 20 years, easy. But you can see the old one is longer. I just ordered the wrong one. I'll order a new one and keep this one. This is okay, this will probably work fine. I've always used a strop on my knives after I sharpen them. Even though I sharpen them, you know, with a fancy sharpener and all, I still strop them. I strop everything. White compound is, well, I don't know the exact grid of white compound, but it's like 12,000. The black's like two or 3,000, and the green is like 6,000. I don't use the green much. I use the green on a leather belt. I use the white and the black on this thing right here. Black on one side, white on the other. All right. Now, here comes the good part. Stand by one second. This comes in the mail. United States Department of Treasury. Well, I know I'd done my taxes, and but I hadn't sent them off. I said, well, it can't be a refund. I don't know what that is. It says Bureau of Physical Services. I said to myself... Could it be possible? You remember that old money clip I found in Ocean View five or six months ago? When I took it all apart, you know, there was $20 bills and they had $50 bills. 
they were in really bad shape. So I took them all out, dried them off, and waited a, two weeks or so and put them in an envelope and a little note and sent them to the uh, mutilated currency department, the U.S. Treasury Department. Well, there is the little old checkaroo that came today. Oops, hold on a minute. 232 clams. That ain't bad for finding an old money clip in the, in the middle of the bay. Stand by. United States Treasury remarks. Mutilated currency refund. <laughs> I knew there was some, some fancy money there, but I didn't know how much until today. That's why I ended up doing a video. I hadn't planned on doing any kind of video. Well, you want some food, little carnivore? How about you, boy? Everybody's hungry. Okay, that's it. I'm having a good day. You ain't gonna believe what I just found. <laughs> I said, damn, that looks like a money clip or something. Well, you turn it over. You can see it is a money clip, and it's got some old money still in it right there. You can see the remnants of the dollar bills and all right there. Now, that's cool right there. Look at that. Uh-oh. God damn the neighborhood. Here's my French for cussing. God knows. I don't want to wash any more of the money behind it. <laughs> I guess I better find it first. It can't, couldn't have gone far. I can see it, I just can't scoop it up. Damn the bad luck. There it is. Come out of there, you little Paquito. Got it, finally. Damn. Still got some of the money in there. You can still see it. See it? Stand by. I'm going to put it in my pouch, I hope. I can get this thing to turn off. I just thought about something. I got this mod. Well, I might as well tell you there's been some gold found. If uh, I had gone, I might have found some, but I didn't. There was uh, one, two, three, three or four gold rings found this weekend. Uh, as far as I know, they were all found on the bay. One was a nice fat class ring. One was a man's ring with a lot of ice in it. The other one was a band, and Gary from uh, Ocean View, you know, our buddy who don't have the car, he found a platinum ring. I forgot about that till right now. So there's some tickets breaking loose. Uh, Danny found a 1904 Indian head penny, and uh, I don't remember what mercury was. He found a mercury dime yesterday at an Indian head. Okay, I'll feed you. Okay, I gotta run. These guys are going crazy. I'll uh, go on hunting tomorrow. It's gonna be nice in the 60s. Stand by. I need I need more Mondays like this. I cashed in the forty dollar lotto ticket. I bought two five dollar scratch offs. Not the ones I usually buy, but they're out of them. 
so I had to buy this green Peridot green thing. I got a Y right there, which means zero. This one I seen, first thing I seen was an F. I said, well, I know that's something. Then I see a Y. I said, hmm, what have I got here? And then right there it says seven double. Seven double at five dollars. Seven double at five dollars. Seven double at five dollars. And seven double at five dollars. So that's five dollars five times. Fifty smackers. Double. I like Mondays like this. They don't happen often, but I like them. Stand by.